VTubers are not your friend. Oh my god, I'm actually doing it. I'm finally doing it. I'm doing the Ludwig thing. Let's go. <coughs> I titled the video like this because I had to learn the hard way. And I want to help any other struggling content creators out there who might have had a similar experience that I've gone through. I have been both a VTuber fan and a friend of a lot of creators you may or may not know. But as it turns out, some of these people never really viewed me as anything more than just a tool to help them grow. But before I explain what happened, hi, welcome back to Mari Monday, where you can ask me questions about anything really, and I will try my best to answer them in my own unfiltered ADHD tangents while I play a game. This one might be a little bit of a throwback to some of you because I love Animal Crossing, and I thought it might be kind of fitting with like the context of this video since, well, I mean, I don't know, maybe maybe you'll get why, maybe you won't, it doesn't really matter, but there's gonna be a bit of, um, quite a bit of text in the beginning of this game. You don't need to pay any attention to it because it's just gonna be me setting up my name, the town I'm going into, and like the whole introduction stuff of this, you know. We're gonna meet Tom Nook and all the other critters out there, so don't really worry about the text. Originally, I was gonna record this video answering a bunch of different questions, but I decided to save all of those for next week's video because there was one question that I saw that really caught my eye and I feel like I'm probably gonna spend a lot of time uh, answering it. <coughs> and the question of the day is from one of my lovely Boba Club members whose uh, name I have a very difficult time pronouncing. Adamella Tohu. I don't know if I said your name right. I'm really sorry if I butchered your name, but I'm gonna call you Ada because it's a little bit easier for me. First of all, congrats on your 100k. Thank you! Ah, I wasn't gonna talk about it in this video. I was gonna wait until my next video, but ah, I can't deny it. Yes, thank you so much for 100k! Let's freaking go! <laughs> this might be a bit personal, but it's a problem that many content creators and other public figures might face. Which is very interesting that you would think that because I'm wondering like if you've seen people talk about this or not, but okay. In the most broad sense possible, what does it feel to be wanted, to be desired? I'm sure many people for many reasons see you as a referential point and seek your attention or want to be your friend, but what I've gathered is that there's a disconnect between the perception of oneself as not being much different from before and after reaching some level of notoriety and then the perception from others. How do you deal with the platonic idea of you that lives in the head of other people? And I kind of struggled with understanding like what this question was about because this can mean a couple different things. So I had asked for clarification where I wanted to know if this is more about how to handle the parasocial interactions as a content creator, or is this more like what it feels like to know people want your constant attention? And they had responded with the second one. There are many people that have given advice about how to handle it, but not many people talk about how it feels, which is very, very interesting to think about. Like, hmm. First, I had to kind of look up what referential point meant because <laughs> um, I didn't know what that, meant, that word meant. I've never heard of that word before. But I, I guess you kind of bring up a good point. Not a lot of people really talk about how it feels to see someone be parasocial versus like how to handle it. That's so interesting. Normally people ask you how to deal with parasocial relationships, but nobody has ever asked me how it feels to know people are being, well, parasocial. Or like how it actively feels to see people treat you differently based on your fame as a creator. <laughs> This is a very difficult question that I will try my best answer without oversharing too much personal information. So let's start with this. I can admit to have witnessing certain VTubers within this community treat me differently from when I first became a VTuber back in like 2019 to where I am now in my career. There are some creators here, who I will not name, that have definitely flipped like the switch on how they'll act towards me because I have either grown in numbers with my content or they suddenly realize I'm friends with someone that they want to get closer to. It's very bizarre behavior, but unfortunately it happens. I don't know if people actually see me as a referential point considering it's taken me... <laughs> it's... <t> <laughs> it has taken me four years to really see any growth in my VTubing career. I assume people look at other successful VTubers as a reference point and think, okay, this is what I have to do to become big and famous, either join a company or get a big expensive model and have this big fancy debut. Because that's what I'm seeing 
literally everyone trying to do. No matter how many times I have expressed that you don't need those things to become like big and successful, people just don't want to hear that. They, they don't want to believe that that is true because they see this person or that person blowing up from doing those things that I said you don't need to do. So they're just like, well, clearly you need to do that. So I have a really difficult time accepting the fact that people look up to me because I, I feel like people don't look up to me. I feel like now that I'm suddenly growing, people are starting to think, oh, maybe Mari did have like an actual point with what she was yapping about for all these years. Like maybe, like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, <laughs> like I constantly get lost in a game that's very easily mapped out and runs on a GameCube console. So how can I possibly be a role model for anyone? Let alone thinking that anybody thinks of me as their friend, like, it's even more puzzling to think that anyone would actually consider me as their friend because I I feel like I'm one of those content creators that everyone in this community kind of judges and looks down upon. Like, you know how a lot of people constantly criticizes and like makes fun of Pokimane? Now, I'm not saying I'm famous like her or anything like that, but that's kind of how I see myself here in the VTuber community. I, I really do feel like people just kind of judge me for every little thing that I do because I'm not what they consider to be a, a successful VTuber. But because I am growing now, suddenly they're like, okay, well, something has to be working and they can't figure out why, which is so odd. Like, I have had people come up to me and tell me what some other creators around here have said about me. And, well, um, a lot of them just like to make fun of me. It's a lot of petty bullshit that I try my best to ignore, but it's hard to ignore this feeling that a lot of my peers don't have any actual faith in me or support what I'm doing with VTubing. Because again, I've talked about for years about how you don't need to spend all this money to become successful. Sure, it gets you a boost in the sense of like, you have, um, what's the word for it? I don't know if more capital is the right word but like you can potentially get more eyeballs on you quicker but it's not guaranteed so i have noticed a lot of vtubers just watch me from a distance because if i crash and burn then they can go back to acting like i don't exist or if i end up succeeding then they can come swooping in and pretend like they have always supported me from the beginning Like, people think that I don't see the criticism that they say about me, and I do. Like, even when people comment on my stuff and they say, like, really, like, mean things, and then they'll, like, DM me later being like, wow, congrats on hitting 100k, I'm so proud of you. I'm like, um, okay. <laughs> Alright, so are you gonna apologize for the mean things that you said about me this entire time? No, we're just gonna pretend like you never said any of that? Okay. It's actually really weird seeing how desperate some people are to get close to me because they want me to teach them all the info that I know about making content and like somehow I have unlocked the secret formula of becoming successful and blah 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 and like they don't actually care about me as a person. It's also interesting seeing them fuck off and go back to pretending I don't exist if I don't give them what they want or if I do give them what they want and they think that the advice I offered is just bullshit and it's not going to work. Like, I think it's very crazy about how people really just don't want to believe that making good content is how you grow as a creator. Regardless of how much or how little money you spend on it, making good content is what makes you grow. Crazy, right? I know it's not healthy to have this point of view of people, but I I had to find out the hard way that a lot of VTubers are not your friend. And many content creators don't actually care about you unless if you give them a reason to. But I think the same can be said about building an audience too, because, well, like, in the sense of, like, why people come on YouTube, it's usually because they either want to be educated, entertained, or motivated. 
And if you can't do any of those things, then, well, nobody's gonna want to watch you. I have tried so hard over the last few years to show other VTubers that you can grow in so many different ways, but nobody wanted to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that type of advice. People would rather label my advice as criticism because that's easier than accepting the fact that, well, they aren't actually skilled in the niche they're trying to capitalize on. And what they should do instead is try something else and experiment. Like so many people are afraid of failure. And I think that's like a legitimate fear to have. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, well, you're asking why you aren't growing. I gave you a suggestion on what could be the reason why. And now you're like mad at me. Like, what, what do you want from me exactly? Like, what do you want me to tell you? You want me to tell you like you're perfect and keep doing it? And then, and then what? You don't grow and then you're just like, okay, well, what's going on? Like, I, I don't know what you want from me. Like, I've tried talking about how, for example, you don't have to be lewd to grow as a VTuber. And there were literally people who took that as me bashing on lewd content creators. Like I'm looking down upon them as if that's a bad way to grow. When that's not what I was saying at all. Like, <laughs> it's so interesting how people will like misconstrue what you're saying and then use your numbers against you. Because if you're too small, They'll misconstrue it and say, well, you don't know what you're talking about because you're not growing. And if you're big, they'll misconstrue it and say, well, you're just this big content creator. So like you don't understand like the struggle of this and that and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, OK, so you just you just can't win. Like I got tired of VTubers complaining that people would come into their chat and try to make them do lewd things because I have seen so many VTubers complain about how they feel like they'll never grow if they're a say so and how they have to copy all these lewd creators to grow. And like, here's the thing. Copying people only gets you so far because everyone will just see you as a copy of someone else. They'll never see you for you or what it is that you truly have to offer because you're too busy trying to pretend that this is what people want from you when that's not what they necessarily want. You have a lot more to offer in yourself. And me saying that does not mean that I am bashing on people who do choose to make lewd content. It bothers me that I try to be helpful and people will label my help as an insult because I'm Mari and I'm this big creator who doesn't know what she's talking about. And it boggles my mind that I even have to clarify this in like a video here, but I do unfortunately, because if I don't, if I just say like what I was saying earlier without giving some kind of context, then people just take that and misconstrue it as like, well, you know, you're just bashing on people. And it's like, no, like there are different ways you can grow. You don't have to be so narrow minded about everything and think that everyone is trying to like make you feel bad. I feel like if you're constantly feeling bad about the things that I say, then maybe this isn't really about me, you know? I feel like usually people kind of use me as like a scapegoat. Um, and I kind of noticed this even before like I started growing in like VTubing, people would often just kind of use me as like a scapegoat. So that way they don't have to face the reality of what's like really bothering them because it's a lot easier to blame somebody else rather than thinking about what it is that you are actually doing. What I've kind of realized is that a lot of random strangers will put you in this box and have this certain expectation of you. And it's really interesting to observe how people are so quick to judge or change their opinion towards you when they realize that they can benefit from you. Like I said earlier in the video, I've had a lot of experiences where other creators who I thought were my friends were actually just using me to get ahead in their own careers. And they would constantly try to take advantage of me. Like, I don't know what it is about me that these people want, but, like, they have some weird, like, misconception in their head that I have unlocked the key and I have all these answers about stuff when I'm just a person who enjoys making content. Like, the moment I started growing, they would get so bitter and angry that I was successful, and they weren't, when the reality is that success is what you make of it.
Too many people around me care so much about numbers and it bothers them that I don't care about that because what I care about is just making good content and having fun making said content. Like, it blew my mind when I realized how many people don't like making content and they're content creators. Like, I really enjoy the creative process of content creation. And yeah, it just surprises me how many VTubers don't actually like making content. Like, I thought it was because of like a mental health thing. Like, maybe they just have anxiety or stage fright because I have that sometimes and I get really anxious. But like, no! A lot of VTubers just don't like making content. And I'm like, why? I, like, that's what makes this all fun. The creative expression, thinking outside the box to do some cool stuff. But no, a lot of people become VTubers because they want to make friends. Which is just so bizarre to me because, well, like, a lot of people just shit on each other behind the scenes. And then use each other to get more viewers and, like, their streams or subscribers and, like, to grow in numbers. Like, it's so weird. Like, are you here to make friends or are you here to become famous? I, I don't want to indulge in the fakeness. And I often just stop talking to certain people when I realize that they're just using me. As I have grown in VTubing, I have seen how differently people treat me. Like, I don't know, I'm I'm kind of an easy target for people to manipulate because I want to believe people actually care about me, but I've had to realize that many of them don't and just want to use me as like a tool because they know that I spent all this time agonizing in pain to figure out how to grow and what I'm actually doing is working. But Instead of them doing any actual work for themselves, they want me to do everything for them. Like, I'm a very sensitive person and it really hurts my feelings when I see someone purposely treat me differently based off of my success or my lack of success. Like, it feels like... People are just never happy with what they have. And I'm maybe because I am happy with what I have, they I don't know, like they're they're like jealous about it. I, I don't know. It's it's weird. It's really, really weird. Like I, I think a lot of people think this is a competition and it's not. Like I'm not I'm not a competitive person and I, I don't care about becoming bigger. I don't care about having this massive, like, audience and growth and stuff. Like, it's really cool to get a shiny new YouTube plaque. That That is pretty cool. I Like, I'm, I'm happy about that. But that's not why I'm, I'm here. Like, I'm not here for that. I enjoy making content. I actually enjoy doing this. So if I decide to talk to another content creator... It's not because I think that, you know, me talking to them is going to help me grow. I'm talking to them because I think they're interesting and cool to talk to. And I'm not going to force, like, this weird, like, friendship about them. Or, like, get offended if they don't answer my DM back. Like, I, I don't care. Like, look, I get that you're busy. I get that life happens. If you choose to answer me, cool. If not, then, all right, whatever. Like, you know, whatever. Like, if you decide to answer me or if I have something else that's more interesting, then, okay. I, I'm not, I just don't, I don't take things personally. I'm just here to inspire people to become a better person and share my own experiences with being a content creator. I like helping people. And I want to run my own business doing exactly that. I want to make my YouTube videos. I want to do some cool stuff. I want to have run some really fun projects. And like, I, I just want to have fun while I'm here. And I don't understand why people make fun of me for that. It's, it's really hurtful. It's very mean.
And I don't understand why they think that me becoming bigger suddenly means that I'm gonna forget all the really mean stuff that they've said and, and like done to me behind my back. So if I happen to make friends along the way, then great. But I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that everyone is my friend and that we all care about each other when I know deep down that most creators just want to use others to get ahead because they want to become rich and famous. They want to have a fandom. They want to have this cult-like following that's going to shower them with money, gifts, fame, and attention. Like, I know that's what a lot of these people are here for. However, I also know that there are a lot of people who become content creators just because they want to have friends. They want to feel accepted, feel like they belong somewhere, and they want to feel like they are loved and cared about. I understand like these are the motives that people have and I'm not judging people who have those motives. Like, listen, if that does you, awesome. But don't be shocked if you realize I don't fuck with you because I'm not here for those same goals. I have my own goals that are very different from all of yours and I'm going to just focus on my goals. I'm not gonna try to use other people to get to said goals because I don't need to. Like, I don't need to use people to get ahead. Sure, collabs is something that I want to talk about in, like, another video and stuff, but you really don't need collabs to grow. It can help. It can definitely help. It can make you grow in some ways, sure. But you don't have to do those in order to grow. And I think there's, like, just this big misconception and people think that I have some weird secret answer on all of this stuff and like they need to get closer with me and collab with me and stuff and and try to like pretend to be my friends so that way they can unlock the secrets when i'm like i don't have anything for you like i'm not here to become rich and famous although you know getting money would be pretty nice to pay off some of my loans <laughs> but i'm not gonna go out of my way and act like we're friends because it's so weird for me to see another content creator actively go out of their way and pretend like they really want to get to know me out of the kindness of their hearts when I have been told by my actual friends how they got used by that same person way back before any of us got big. Like, I have seen what a lot of these shitty things that other content creators do to each other. And if you do shitty things to another content creator, then... That's going to spread around amongst other content creators, regardless if you're bigger now compared to back then, because, uh, people talk. I really want people to just be nicer to each other. I'm trying really hard to, like, lead by example. I'm trying to be nicer. I'm trying to be more mindful about my advice so it doesn't come off as criticism, because, um, being neurodivergent, like, having ADHD... It makes me blurt out things that come into my head. And sometimes, like, the way I, I will say my advice, it comes off like criticism. I had to learn that. I had to learn that, like, how people interpreted that was criticism. And even though that wasn't my intentions, I need to work about how I phrase things because people will just think that I'm being mean when I'm trying to be helpful because I, I actually care. Like, I'm not doing this to be mean and to make fun of people. I, I want people to grow. I actually want people to succeed. But I need to, like, learn how to talk to people properly so they don't get insulted by it. However, regardless of how nice you might put it for people, some people just don't get it, you know? They really just don't get it. And really, the only thing that I can do is just send them off and let them go do their own thing. Some people just have to make their own mistakes until they eventually learn. And it's not my fault if someone decides to grow or not to grow and trying to get closer to me is not going to guarantee your success. You need to do the work on your own. I'm not sure if your question was specifically about other content creators or if this is about my own audience here, but if I had to think about how many of my bobas treat me, then, well... I don't think I've noticed any changes. I feel like a lot of people here in the dream realm are so chill and try their best to help everyone around them. And, you know, I'm just uh, like a proud, like a proud parent. No, maybe not a parent. That, that, that kind of changes the dynamics of things. Like a proud, I guess, team leader, because we're a team, right? Like a proud team leader. I have seen so many wonderful things happening 
within my community. Like, also, I kind of feel like a lot of people in my community are a little protective of me because I, I always see people trying to give me advice or help me out when I'm struggling with something. And, you know, it is nice to see how supportive everyone is. And it's really opened up my eyes that not everyone who does this stuff is straight up evil and that there are a lot of people who just want to feel like they belong somewhere and they're content with having just that. However, I really don't like it when people worry about me. And uh, I know a lot of people in my community, they worry about me. Rightfully so. But I really, I get so awkward when people worry about me because like, I don't know, like, um, I have this weird um feeling that like people look down upon me or they pity me and I, I just i just want to be treated like a person i just want to be treated normally please i just want to be treated normally like for example i really enjoy anime night with my own community because i feel like people actually treat me like a person instead of a tool Nobody's in voice chat freaking out asking me all these questions about how to become big and famous or complaining about how they feel bad about their content not doing well and this and that. Like, no, we literally just yap about random stuff and then watch a few episodes of anime and then talk about said anime after. It's really nice and I look forward to that every single Saturday with my Boba Club members because it's one of the few interactions that I have with people where I actually feel like my time is appreciated for... It's really nice and I look forward to that every Saturday with my Boba Club members because it's one of the few interactions that I have with people where I actually feel appreciated for my time being spent with them. Most of the time, I kind of feel unappreciated or I feel like people are taking advantage of me and it's weird because like I want to be trusting of people but I can definitely see when like people change towards me. I, I see it. I do see it. But then when I think about like my community members, like the people who are very chill and stuff, like people like that are the type of people who help me stay motivated to keep going as a creator because I've proven that I am worthy of being accepted and cared about by someone. Like I really like my community and it feels good seeing how happy everyone is to see how I've been growing and also is willing to help each other out. That's what I want. I really like seeing how supportive everyone is with each other and that's what I want to encourage more. And I want people to start just being nice. And I don't even like want you to be like fake nice. And it turns out you hate that person. Like I want people to be nice because they actually want to be nice. Not because they think they can benefit something from it. I don't know why there is this disconnect between how like I view myself versus how everyone else around me like views me. Other than that, people really do care too much about numbers. I know that some content creators change when they become bigger, but maybe that's because they have to in order to protect themselves. I think maybe that I've changed too a bit in the sense of like, I'm not going to entertain conversations with people where I feel disrespected or unappreciated, or if I feel like they're just wasting my time. Like, I don't have a lot of time left here. And wasting what precious time I do have on people who just don't actually care about me is pointless. And I want to focus my attention on people who do actually matter to me. So I hope that I could answer your question or give you some kind of insight on my perspective on this concept of fame. Since success really is just what you make of it and not everyone in that is doing this is here for your best interest. So don't waste your time and energy on someone who wouldn't do the same for you. I appreciate you so much for watching and everyone else who decides to comment on these videos. Please let me know what kinds of questions you would like for me to feature in my next Mari Monday. I know for like next week's video specifically, I'm gonna answer all those other questions that I didn't get a chance to since like this one went kind of long and I had a feeling it would be kind of long, so yeah. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. And remember, everything reminds you of something. Bye!